Sean, you gave me some questions about rugby, which I thought were hidden below the belt. <laughs> my knowledge of rugby could be written on my <laughs> tiny fingernail. Yeah, well, I'm not a question setter. I just answered them. Yeah, ah. and you were... You ground me into the pulverised... <laughs> he destroyed you. He, he did. destroyed me, and I went home and relived it, beat myself up. You met your match, Janet. More than met my match. No, but as I say, uh, Janet and I have a uh, long history because he was on a uh, quiz show together, remember? Panelist, remember? Which quiz show? Are you a smart ass on BBC? <laughs> oh, that's a cure. Cool. Yes. Was it really? Yeah. Did you make that up? No. <laughs> I've got that from my memory. You're actually in my autobiography. Am I? You are. In a flattering light, I Absolutely. hope. Absolutely. Thank you. Which is right here. I've got it right here. It certainly is, yes. There we go. Chasing the dream, yep. And you were an original chaser. I was the world's first chaser, yep. Right. I was appointed ha in December When they told you, back then, the premise of the quiz, did you think it would last nearly I certainly years? did, yeah. I, was, I did three separate auditions uh, from December 2008 to April 2009. Yes. Uh, then they brought in Mark. Uh, then the pair of us went up a day before my 49th birthday. Yeah. And the rest, they say, is history. It's been a fantastic show, a wonderful ride. How did you get the job, Jenny? Because you're relatively new to the programme, aren't you? Yeah, I've been on for three years now, which is still very much the baby of the show. Although I was there at the start, I wrote questions for the pilot series of The Chase. Um, so I've been involved in the quiz circuit for many years. I've known Sean, Mark, Anne and Paul for the years. The quiz they... circuit? The quiz circuit, <laughs> yeah, Explain the... what that is. <laughs> we, um, the, the most serious of us nerds will gather yes. once a month or so in a, a social club or a yeah. pub. Uh, function room somewhere and we'll yeah. basically do a GCSE yeah. paper in general knowledge and we all rank against each other. Yeah, exactly. wow. so, oh, yeah. OMG! Yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I want to go to one people. of these meetings. Well, well, you're very welcome to come along, Janet. Yeah, my, yeah, maybe my IQ wouldn't get me through the door, but... <laughs> so you all meet somewhere, you <laughs> sit down and you voluntarily do an exam. Yeah. Basically, yeah. Once a month. Wow. Yeah. And who normally wins? Um, there's a guy called uh, Kevin Ashman who, uh, without doubt, is the best quiz of all time. Then you've got... Uh, Pat Gibson. And they're both on the eggheads. Oh, are they? Yeah, the side. Ah, yeah they're, okay. they're, they're the rivals, but get, uh, they're fantastic. Do you get competitive? Is it, it's, uh, it's not competitive. Though. I mean, we take it seriously uh, yeah. because it does help us, especially when we're on the chase. So uh, that's why I go along to mm. actually... Uh, I'm only interested in the questions I don't know as opposed to the questions I do know. But I'm really surprised that you're still a practising barrister. I mean, I knew you were a barrister. I didn't realise that you still... Yeah, I still practise. What area of law do you practise? Uh, criminal defence. I like to tell people, although the chase is fantastic, I'm a lawyer who's fortunate enough to be on the chase, not yeah. the other way around. Theresa May and her husband watch it religiously. Yeah. How did you react to that? Oh, it was fantastic news, actually. It just goes to show the enduring popularity of the show. I think she watched uh, Mark's uh, episode on uh, September the 14th. I'm and quite just surprised, goes... actually, because I thought can she was I... more a pointless person. Jenny, <laughs> can I say, look at that photo closely. Doesn't it look a little bit staged? Just a little bit, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Better <laughs> husband sitting in the chair, not looking that comfortable. Obviously, doesn't not a regular well, view. Maybe they don't normally watch it in that room. Maybe it's uh, they yeah. put it on, the, on ITV you, Hub when they've gone to bed. Theresa May would be any good on the chase? Uh, I don't see why not. Um, it takes courage to actually face a professional quizzer like myself and Jenny. And uh, the only thing I always say to contestants uh, is to be confident in your own ability as opposed to being caught up by the bright lights and the surrounding circumstances. Yeah. So if, if you have that ability, as you did, Linda, when I knocked you out... Uh, <laughs> uh, do, do you know what? Well. I think that's so true, cos when I... I've, I've done it twice, and I won once and uh, lost the, the second time against the chaser. And all I thought was, you either know it or you don't. Yeah. And there's no point getting stressed about yeah, it, exactly. because no. you can't preempt it, you, you know, you can maybe study like you guys do, but when you turn up on the... The worst the thing, it's a the worst thing experience. a can yeah. do and a quiz show is get a question wrong. That's the worst thing I can do. I know, you yeah. say that now, but yeah, no, I but beat myself up. I'm still, no. I'm still going through the fact that I didn't know the name of a rugby team in South Africa <laughs> in some bizarre no, but It takes courage tournament. for you to actually face a professional chaser. Who sure. Jenny, before we go, I used to have a beehive like that in the 60s and still would actually lean <laughs> towards it. Um, is that all real hair? Do you mind me asking? It is all my... There is a rumour online, on Twitter, there are quite a few people who think that I wear a wig, but yeah. this is all my own hair. How long did it take to put that up today? Not very long. Um, Lee, in your uh, yeah, hair and yeah. makeup He's department, used, used to do Dusty Springfield's beehive, I so know. it had to be You're as big as possible hand. today. <laughs>